Let's start by navigating to the Scheduler button. On the left, you'll see your previously created schedules. On the Plus Create button, you'll be able to enter a new schedule name. From the drop down menu, you can select your default playlist. This is what will play when the scheduled items are complete. You could choose your scheduled transition here in increments of seconds. Under scheduled items, you could add, edit, or delete any schedule that you create. Let's add. You could choose your frequency from once, hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly. For this example, I'm going to choose weekly. Add your description here. In the properties window, you could choose when you would like or how frequent you like it to run. Let's say 10 o'clock on Tuesday through Sunday. And I'll have the duration play for eight hours. You can also choose the start date and end date here. Now that I know the frequency, I'm going to choose the actual playlist item. You can always edit the items in the playlist or delete. Now, going back to the DS devices, I'm able to connect and choose and schedule to apply to a Novo DS unit. As you can see from the drop down menu, these are the available schedules that I've created. Once I apply it, you'll see the sync window synchronize the playlist items to the Novo DS. You could also apply a schedule to a group list as well. In this example, I have these players associated to a group. I could click on the upload schedule, choose the schedule item, and it will be applied to all the players within that group. Removing a schedule is just as easy. Click on the remove device side and the schedule will be removed from that Novo DS player.